Hi, welcome to another episode of Spit Takes. I'm Jens Anderson, a.k.a. Spittle. And I'm Ellen Anderson. And we are here to talk to you about the new episode of Arrow called Public Enemy. And much like... I think detective, she's public enemy right here. That? She's all growly. Well, I know. I think what's going on here is that we have a Detective Lance Ollie relationship going on. They're very cranky and upset with each other. Actually, maybe this is Laurel and this is Detective Lance. Maybe. They're bickering. They're cranky. They can't get along even though they're family right now. It might bust out in a fight. We just don't know. Anything could happen. Be prepared. <laughs> anyway, uh, Public Enemy, good episode um, in Arrow the other night. Uh-oh problems mm -hmm. don't do it come here buddy oh yeah let's have you like get a little yes there we go so um really good episode a lot going on um finally there's a really cool storyline going on with the atom there's a very cool storyline going on with ollie um which is the continued raza ghoul uh league of assassins take be my heir take my mantle um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to set people up to kill you, which starts out last episode. Maceo shot an arrow, killed the mayor of Starling City. City, Boom. Dead. Actress, out of work, looking for a job. Murder, death, kill. <laughs> Murder, death, kill through the window. <laughs> he goes to shoot Felicity. What? Shoot Felicity? That would just make Ollie pissed. And Ray Palmer goes and tackles Felicity out of the way and takes the arrow in the chest. Oh, bleeding right there on the floor. Right. Terrible. So he goes to the hospital, and Felicity's there with him. And he's recovering, but he's got some kind of clot in his brain right now, which is going to kill him. Thrombosis. Thrombosis. You should, it doesn't, isn't that a word that feels like it should be said with like grand aplomb? Throm, the lord and lady thrombosis. No, I, I'm more thinking of long lines of like... Not only do you got the diabetes, you, you got, got the, the thrombosis. thrombosis. Yeah, but it would, if Wilford Brimley said it, it would be diabetes. diabetes. It would be like thrombosis. <laughs> <laughs> he would say it funny. So eat Quaker Oats to get rid of your thrombosis. Or put some Palmer Mini Nanite Tech in your bloodstream. Yeah, so... And it'll shrink that down no problem. I'm sure Adam fans everywhere were like, yes! Okay, I was getting nervous, right? Because I've been defending... This for a long time that they were working up to shrinking him. And last episode, it just didn't feel like they were maybe going to shrink him at all. Oh, you mean because of the Iron Man suit? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, really, because, I mean, what, what kind of shrinks him down and the cause of shrinking him down in the comic is the white dwarf matter mm -hmm. that he has in his belt. Right. And that apparently, they made very little mention of it, but it apparently goes into um, uh, making the suit itself, right? Now, in order to save his life, Felicity injects him with some nanites that um, deal with shrinking stuff, right? right? And he has this like moment of, of you know, flatlining and then coming back. So they just introduced into his body the shrinking thing. Right. Small and tech. You small tech. Small and tech I, has arrived. I kind of like how they did it because now he's if, since they put it in his bloodstream and it's part of his body and it's not linked to the suit, he's not going to have to suit up in order to shrink down and all that stuff. So the suit is probably going to be optional when it comes to him shrinking himself up and down. Of course, I think he'll stay in the suit when he's shrunk down. Maybe it'll shrink with him or something. But tactile shrinking. I can shrink myself. If I touch you, I can shrink you too. Shrinkage. Shrinkage. Yep. Every man's worst nightmare. <laughs> I was in the pool! <laughs> anyway, so that storyline uh, was kind of cool. I liked where it went. He's got, he's a potential for shrinking going on when he gets to the, the new spinoff show that he's going to be a part of. And good for Brandon Routh. I'm glad he's back in the DC Universe. Good actor. Really like what he brings to the show. Funny guy. He's one of the stronger actors, on the strongest show. actors on the show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so back to the main storyline. All hell's breaking loose. The imposters murder the mayor. They frame the arrow. Detective Lance is absolutely furious. And Raish actually ends up kidnapping him. Kidnapping him mm -hmm. and bringing him and telling Detective Lance that Ollie is the arrow. What? So, Dude. So again, in the DC universe, another identity is revealed. I know. Look what Flash has done. The, <laughs> the consequences of Flash's time travel Barry. are reverberating <laughs> through the CW. It's just terrible. So yeah, yet another character unmasked 
And um, it was pretty crazy, too. Look, leave her alone. Leave her alone. It was pretty crazy, too. Um, because it, that was, that Ross, that was not your secret to tell, sir. That was not your secret to tell. Mm-mm. He's just a spoiled sport. He is. You know, he doesn't get what he wants, so meh, meh, meh. <laughs> I'm going to pee in everybody's Cheerios. Yeah, he also does... Uh, He's that guy. He also does uh, a, a disservice to Laurel, too, in terms of just really exposing that she's been lying to her father. Yeah. Even about more stuff than she knows about. So you know what? He should retire. He's a bad man. Yeah, it's time to go. You're making bad decisions, right? He's Russ. cranky and old. <laughs> so um, we end up... By the way, they pronounce his name so many different ways on the show. I've heard him call himself Raish. I've heard other people call him Roz. It's very confusing. Now on, on DCUO, what do we call him? Raish Agul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so we, uh, we fast forward here. Um, Lance is on the hunt. He knows. He tells Laurel that he knows. And Laurel knows that he knows that he knows. So she tells Ollie. So Ollie knows that he knows that she knows that he knows that he knows. Everybody's in the freaking no at this point. Right. A lot of no connections going it's the on. The soap opera. Doctor No. No, not that kind of no. No. Oh! <laughs> that was the perfect way to get out of that. It was. <laughs> Nicely done. Everyone's like, yay! <laughs> it can stop now. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, so uh, Ollie really needs to figure out you know, to stop this. And he wants to basically go and take care of Maceo. So he asks for um, Nissa's help. And she helps them. Because yep. Ollie uses Sarah as a weapon. A little emotional and, weapon. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, Nissa's weakness. Yeah, Nissa's weakness is Sarah. is Sarah. So she helps. And um, she tells them where they are. And, and it ends up being a trap. Maceo's there. Maceo gets his trap. ass kicked. Oh, by the way, during the fight on the roof when they're looking for them at that headquarters, Black Canary literally gets kicked in the ass. She literally gets her ass kicked by a ninja. Like, he kicks her in the ass. The first thing we see, really see her doing is, you know how they always, this is what a, this is what an arrow fight sounds like. It's a bunch of people going like this, and then you hear, that's, that's an arrow fight. That's the stunt coordinators come in and they say, okay, everybody just kind of spin around each other, like pirouette around each other in your orbit and go, huh, 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 huh. And during that, she gets just kicked in the ass. Actually, they have professionals that go, huh, 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 yeah, huh, huh. It's, They're not uh, even doing it's it. Not even them. I'm going to burst your bubble there. Damn it, it's Foley. You're right. <laughs> oh, somebody wants into the snuggle zone. I don't know. There's not a lot of space oh, here in go. the snuggle She's zone. All right. Oh, him. gosh. Yeah. Aw. You guys are friends again. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, and there was another flashback in this episode. There's always a flashback. Well, hold on. Let's wrap this up. But yeah, there was a flashback, which was a useless flashback, quite frankly. I don't even understand what it had to do with anything. I know it was for Shadow. It was Shadow's sister. And again, the strongest thing that I remember is the MacGruber wig. Oh, boy. Out of the flashback. at At least they didn't have it with the cap on. And you are right. When the cap is on, it looks more like a MacGruber wig. It right. It didn't look as much... It I looked was... like more realistic hair when the, when the hat wasn't on. Yes. And I'm telling you, somewhere on that set... That secretly, hat looked like he was ready secretly, to climb the Alps. Secretly, they call that thing the MacGruber wig. Yeah. If somebody does. I it, know I know it. Ellen, when you I see... I know people. When you see pictures of the set, there's actually a director... There's a chair that says, Ollie's wig. And it has its own chair on the set with the name on it and so, everything. So, second strongest performer, <clears throat> the MacGruber wig. The MacGruber wig. Right behind Brandon Routh. And, yeah. and that wig, it deserves a Saturn for next year. Just saying. <laughs> well, we're, we're cheating Barrowman out of his ranking there. But anyway, <laughs> we digress. So they fight. Ollie and the rest of them. Ollie kicks Maceo's butt. And Raish, Raz, Raish, however they pronounce it now, um, shows up. <coughs> and uh, it's all a setup. The helicopter comes, and there's this great chase scene where they evade the police. Mm-hmm. They do an awesome repel. Arrow catches Black Canary. God, that couldn't have gone... God forbid that went wrong. Like, one hair's breadth off on that timing, and she's splat on the pavement. 
But yeah. they do this chase. I don't chase. think Lance could actually get angrier at this point. Though. I know. Well, but I think if, if Laurel died, he'd get a little... It would go to, like, 11. Um, so, uh, freaking Roy is shooting people, like, cops in the knees. And, I mean, it's a gnarly chase. He doesn't chase. want to, but he has to, out of necessity. His, um, Lance catches his daughter, and Nyssa is actually almost breaks his arm and saves her so they all get away eventually but it's really bad and eventually the cops track him down he's forced to turn all he's forced to turn himself in um because he sees no other choice <clears throat> sees no other choice he's been given no other choice and so oh now i remember the whole point of this that flashback the flashback is the entire point of that flashback was to get the line of the tr- the truth is a powerful thing and so he was going to go to the cops to counter uh, the League of Assassins maneuverings here with the truth. Because the truth is a powerful thing. In this case, I think the truth gets you sent to prison forever. <laughs> or maybe even the death sentence for murdering all those people in season one. The truth in this case does not set you free. The truth gets you locked up. Yeah, because I'm. I was, it's funny that you say that because I'm. I'm thinking the writers are like the truth is a very powerful thing, or the truth will set you free. Well, since he's going to be in captivity, we can't <laughs> use that one. So yeah. here the you truth, go. Yeah, I'm only left with the truth. <laughs> this is a powerful thing. So that was the whole point of those flashbacks, um, and to sort of tie up the whole uh, shadow and. Uh, uh, her father and the sister and all that that storyline that's a nice bow on it now um but he turns himself in and and team arrow i hate saying that team arrow um try you know they they can't really stand the fact that ollie's gonna take the fall for them all and uh at the end when lance and and ollie are in the transport taking him to prison or to jail or wherever it is they're having this conversation and god police brutality Lance clocks Ollie across the face at one point. Yep. But all of a sudden you hear this arrow, you know, hit a truck or hit the car or something. And it's Roy in the arrow outfit. And he's like, you've got the wrong guy because I'm the arrow. And all of a sudden Roy gets arrested now because he's in uh, Ollie's outfit. Which, by the way, did he just dye his Arsenal red outfit green? Because it fit perfectly, and there's no way that Ollie would be able to, or Roy would wear Ollie's outfit, and it would fit. They're two, they're like totally different heights and builds, but his outfit looked perfect. So I think he probably does his own role playing on the side. <laughs> oh, and he already like, had his suit ready. Oh, that's kinky. And so he's like, so this he's is ready what it feels like to wear the green. And he, yeah. you know, and there's a big part of him that <laughs> wants to be punished, Roy. He yeah, wants they, to, he talks he about that. He wants to be punished. Um, and so for him going to prison makes sense for him. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of guilt and he would probably feel like he deserves to go to, to jail over Oliver and he would help Oliver out. And that's because he really doesn't know what jail's like. Right. <laughs> like there's one thing to be locked up in, in a cell, right? Like, right. I mean I've never I've never gone to jail and hopefully I never will. Whatever. <laughs> Come on. But Let's talk about that stint you did ten years. Hard time. San Quentin. That's right. That's where you learn how to make those prison shanks. That's right. I would have never known how to make a prison shank if Ellen didn't show me. It's amazing if you with a paper clip yeah. and a pencil. Eraser. <laughs> so anyway, um so yeah, he does that. Um and it seems selfless, but it kinda isn't. It's a little selfish on his on his behalf as well. Mm-hmm. Because he does he, he has this need to be punished. And you know what? I could punish him. <laughs> well, Come on now, <laughs> Roy. If you're needing, if you're needing, if you need a good feel, spanking, <laughs> I'm I'm here for you, bud. Oh. <laughs> and on that note, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Spit Takes. Good lord! But love anyway, the episode. I, I did enjoy this episode. If you have any Thanks comments about Ellen's uh, desire to punish Arsenal, um, or the show, or our thoughts on the show. Tweet us at hashtag spit takes or leave your comments here on YouTube. Um, we do a show called Your Takes where we actually talk about those comments. So if you'd like us to talk about, read your comments, and share the, our thoughts about your thoughts with you, please do drop us a line, ping us on Twitter, and uh, leave a comment here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Spit Takes about Arrow's public enemy. We enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you next week. Can't wait to see Arrow and his crew do the crossover on The Flash either. Oh, That's going to be exciting. I- 
I'm going to love that. I yeah. thought they did a great job when they did the crossover last time. Yeah. So I am very much looking forward to that. A lot of things coming together to start that spinoff show with Firestorm, The Atom, and mm-hmm. Black Canary. This is probably where it's all going to come together and be the glue. There's a so, little part of me that wants to say hashtag Arsenal Spankings. I don't know why. Oh my God. <laughs> don't make that a thing, people. All right, we got to go. Until next time, we'll see you later. Later. Pretty, oh, and it's almost medieval. It's like people have yeah. like clubs, and I swear, oh, no. I swear, there's some guy with like a shovel. No, it was a, a machine gun. You oh, were yeah. like, why is the guy with the machine gun like holding it like? Oh, he's charging with it like it's a club instead of <laughs> using it. I'm like, you just stay Lay back and fire. shoot. You just don't go. Ah, oh, I'm gonna hit you with my <laughs> gun. We, and we don't really know what that is. We my, don't. My theory is like he, she finally had it because she was tired of the toilet seat being up. It, really? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> toilets are different in Asia, though. They don't even think they have toilets and yes, seats. Yes, they do. No, it's like this, like, like three-inch sunken. You just sort of squat over it and let it all go. You wouldn't replace the toilet paper. These are all things <laughs> that you know women divorce their husbands on. So. Okay, I actually think it has to do with their son. So yeah, totally. So you know, it's like that's that's just got to be a, a probably almost a death kill right there. Yeah, a death kill. De- yeah. As opposed to a life kill or a death life. Or- no, but I meant to say <laughs> fail on words. I'm going to death kill you now. Yeah! I like your take on that because my take is awful. Mine is like Batman meets Downton Abbey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Because of, yeah. No, I thought it, I thought it was a nice See, little See, yours nod. is better. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I found on the web for Siri. Find me the nearest rising darkness. Uh, the... the- Inside story of series origins. <laughs> but then I That's got a good season. theory, actually. Yes. I'm impressed. <laughs> the brain. Wow. I just got blown away. I just fell Master in love with you Blaster. all over again. <laughs> Will you marry me again? <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Well, You're a bum. I don't know. Oh, I am a bum. <laughs> I am a bum. <laughs> He's practically holding yeah, his like... head back. <laughs>